Hello, this is Moobit from GamerDads.co.uk and the GamerDads Retrocast here with another tech review for you and what a very special tech review this is because, good to see our friends at Mustard PR and Vuzix it is the turn of these the Vuzix Wrap 920 Video Eyewear now these things are very, very cool indeed Anyone who uh, knows me on Gamer Dads, I am a bit of a tech nut. Um, and Vuzix personally is a company in my personal life that I've been keeping an eye on for, for many a year. Ever since I saw a story about their first generation eyewear, the uh, Vuzix AV230s. Um, to me this is a bit sort of Butt Rogers-esque glimpse into the future. Um, these actually will allow you to watch basically a, a very large widescreen TV but as you can see it's strapped to your face now that might seem very strange to you guys who might not have researched these things but when I add that this will actually project the equivalent of a 67 inch TV like floating in front of your eyes in an optical illusion style E and it can plug into basically any AV output that you can think of, including the iPhone and your iPod, your videos, and your you know DVD players and games consoles, things like that. And also displays in full 3D. So obviously plug this into anything that will output in 3D, and you will see it as nature as the makers intended. It becomes a very exciting prospect indeed. Now. What I'm also going to do is uh, do a quick unboxing video for you. We'll show you the uh, main tech, go through a few of these features, and uh, just to make you aware, there is a video um, a video review, obviously, you're watching now. I've got a full written review on the site, uh, which I'll link to at the end of this video. If you click on the game ad symbol at the end, it will take you straight to the written review, which is obviously going to be a bit more in-depth in terms of the technical specs, etc. So any fellow tech geeks can go and check it out there. There will also be links to the Vuzix website and also PR website again at the end of the video and on the written review itself. So, let's get on with it. Let's open this, this bad boy up and I'll show you what it can do. Right, so, when we get the box, let's show you the box first. Switch to macro. And as you can see, there they are, Vuzix Wrap Video Eyewear. Let's focus. So, get some suggested devices there. 67 inch TV, there's the bottom. Very similar to around really. There's a picture of a lady quite enjoying herself in the sun watching the telly. Probably minding her own business watching the film, but there you go, there's the other box there. And the gentleman on a plane. Definitely for me, I would be using these um, on long haul journeys, you know, planes and trains and things like that. Maybe not on the, the you know, 20 minute commute into the office. But, uh, you know, for especially for longer haul ones, you know, you're, you're stuck on a plane in carriage class, you've got some obnoxious little git sat right next to you, you don't care, you can switch it, you can strap a 67 inch telly to your face and ignore him. Now, here's the back, the Vuzix Wrap 920, the most advanced video eyewear available today. True sunglasses style video eyewear with a virtual 67 inch screen as seen from sitting 10 feet away. Um, you've got all the cables and things here. A few, obviously I'll put a lot of these specs actually on the written review and there's a picture of how I've mainly been using it obviously plugged into a console and also into my iPhone because obviously get YouTube through that get some 3D films and 3D footage sticking through there it looks pretty darn good first released in 2009 by Vuzix and there's some more symbols there so let's open it up Switch back to normal. There we go. Right, so standard counter box, really. Flappy paddle that opens up. Inside, you have got the Vuzix eyewear themselves and all the cables inside here. Take the thing out, and here they are. Now, let's just get rid of that. These are the glasses themselves. Yes, relatively Blues Brother esque. But they don't look too bad when they're on, actually, to be fair. And obviously the size of the lenses has got to co cover the fact that there are two 
screens inside here one two and the nose bridge anyway let's put that to one side we'll cover that in some more detail in a moment quite a long cable here to an end that goes into a remote control now open this up and inside we have got the AV controller unit now if we open this up and it is exactly what it says on the tin there is your remote you've got the plus minus buttons left and right so basically volume control and things that does your menu there's an on-screen menu floating in front of your face when you put them on to get the right settings back etc it's battery powered here is a little um, screwdriver attachment that you use to focus the actual lenses on the glasses um, but I'll show you that in a moment and basically the, you get the glasses, you get the end here it plugs into the front like so like that and then on this here, that's AV out you get a series of cables inside the box which I'll show you um, you put the correct one in for the device you're watching your video on and away you go So inside we have a soft case keep it uh, getting scratched personally yes I know what you're thinking you probably would prefer a hard case I would too but you can actually buy these from the Vuzix website uh, for quite a reasonable price um, obviously molded to fit the glasses and and the cables and things so that's it's all gravy there in here we have got uh, iPod connector that, that then goes into the um, bottom of your of your uh, remote like that iPhone, iPod, whatever plug into there, stick them on your face away you go you also get included in the box a freeway AV you know the red, the red yellow whites um, so you can plug any, any source into there I've personally had a Mega Drive in this an Xbox, uh, you know Wii all sorts of things the Wii really didn't quite work so she got the sensor bar but uh, the, X the Xbox and the Playstation and everything else are fantastic very good for driving games in fact because it's like you're sat in the cockpit you also get a pair of earbuds which plug into the glasses some batteries and some various um, earbud shaped things because these are noise cancelling earbuds they fit you right inside your ear and you get the uh, right one for your own ear type very comfortable blocks out a bit of external noise makes makes it a bit more immersive right let's show a setup right so obviously we're on macro mode at the moment i'm going to show you how to set these up for an iphone um similar um, procedure for anything else so you take your iphone connector you plug it into there's a hole here you see that plug that into there put that to one side and you take your glasses now there's a cable coming out the bottom as you can see the cable runs from the side of the glasses here and you've got a very handy cable tie that goes off and behind you here and down you know into the remote control which you'll obviously keep in your pocket um, I found when I've got well, like a a uh, I want to say hoodie really it's got that like, pocket on the front perfect for this anyway I don't know if you can see this very well <sighs> lighting me the way it is today so there's a hole there there's a hole there and there's a plug there that plug is actually for an add-on um, for um, motion sensor that you can buy sen separately basically um, you plug that this is these are obviously the, the earbuds plug one into there one into there um, the motion sensor is very interesting and um, you don't get that in the box that's an optional extra um, but basically you put these on your head if you plug these into your PC for your PC gamers out there um, that goes in there and as you're moving your head so especially on first person shooters as you move your head your game character moves its head so as you're looking around in real time that's basically doing what would happen on a console on the, on the right thumbstick and all you have to do is stop is just shoot and move forwards and backwards and away you go inside here or be able to pick these up on the camera of course are two um, high res uh, 640 by 480 LCD displays um, they've got obviously 60 hertz progressive stand, scan um, refresh rate on there so very very capable um, 24 bit true colors etc as you would expect for something um, of this uh, you know this this day and age here is your nose bridge now this does actually come 
in out and shake it all about. Um, you can adjust this accordingly. These metal bits here have got a little bit of give. What I would advise you doing is the glasses at first when you put them on can feel a little bit heavy. That is because they're not set correctly. Um, if you adjust these here to your actual nose shape and this obviously to the height of your nose to get it perfectly sat right so it's hugging the sides just as, as your own nose would be they actually are quite comfortable you do get used to them obviously they're heavier than normal glasses because you've got some LCD screens in here but if you, as long as you ha have so spend five minutes or so when you first get them setting them to your own nose and your own face the screens go in exactly the right position in front of your eyes and they feel great and especially if you're you know sat back on a chair or or you know on on a plane with you know a bit of a lean to on or a coach or what have you your head's going to be slightly further back as well so gravity will do its job and it's very very comfortable actually i um i've watched a couple of films both all the way through they're absolutely fine on the top here you can see is so the shine of this glass is not coming up just here is a little flap you can pull that down there are two screw holes in there there you go these are what you use to adjust each lens that one for that one that one for that one so as you put them on your face start a video playing and you'll only really need to do it once you can t take the little screwdriver that's inside here or your own phillips head screwdriver whatever lock them in the top and just twist them very slightly to get especially when you're using 3d video get them both aligned perfectly on your eyes so there's no crossover you know um, and once you've done that once you won't need to do it again so I guess in a way you're getting these for yourself brilliant if you're going to share them with your, your missus or somebody else it might be advisable to save a lot of faffing to buy one of these nose bridges extra and have one for your nose and one for your partner's nose for example and then you can just flip switch them out on the fly like so you know pull them right out and it, they, they unclip and there's a little clip on the back that you've pulled in and they come out that might save a little bit of time but if you're not that bothered obviously you can just go on there and just squeeze them in slightly and adjust them because once you've got them right you don't want to be fiddling with them too much anyway so you've got your earbuds there they go on your face obviously these go in your ears down to the cable and this cable on the bottom and there's a plug there you plug that in there okay that's what you'd have in your hand up and down to scroll through the menus volume bring up the menu to switch between 2d 3d various picture settings contrast brightness etc just as you would on any tv and then you get your uh, whichever device in my case the iphone plug into the bottom and that's it um, once you launch YouTube, uh, that's me uh, doing a Game Dads video there. Once you launch YouTube, um, whoa, you can uh, basically you pick whichever video you want. It starts playing, and you can see that TV connected is going now to the um, glasses themselves. If you search on YouTube for 3D videos, just to give yourself an idea, obviously you can buy proper DVDs and things, but you can get them for free. If you search for a 3D video, um, Put it through here the glasses will pick up because they've got an auto thing on there they will pick up the 3d video and swap it to the relevant 3d type whether that be anaglyph red blue you know red green etc etc so that is a very good feature indeed and it's a lot of fun in fact i will put a video a link to the video on in the doobly-doo down here that i used on these glass to test these glasses and also on the um written review itself i will post the actual video i watched to give you an idea of what kind of things this thing can display very impressive so um, what i'm going to do now is uh, just quickly cut to a picture of my ugly mug um, and show you them on my face and show you show you how they look okay here we are in the uh, retro dungeon as you can see uh, just to show you basically what it looks like to have a 67 inch tv strapped to your face um, as you can see, got this. These hook, currently hooked into the uh, 360. Um, very good for this kind of thing. I found actually I can have the 360, you know, under the sofa. Um, I can be sitting next to my missus. She can be watching TV on the main TV. 360 under the sofa. Wire coming out straight into here. Switch them on. Put that in your pocket, and then uh, get these glasses on. 
and uh, you know if you've got one decent TV in the house and the missus is, all, is insisting on watching her things grab these strap these to your face grab your controller switch it on and away you go you're playing Call of Duty or you know uh, Forza 3 or you got PlayStation play, you know Gran Turismo and the like big there's a massive screen here it feels like it's floating around in front of me very very good fun um, especially for driving games as I say first person shooters because it's just like have you know the old school uh, VR goggles um, that you know you, you, you guys older guys would have seen in the arcades back in the 80s is that kind of sensation only obviously with a proper you know high-res screen floating in front of you very good for driving games especially um, obviously I'm a retro gamer so I've actually had these hooked into a Saturn with Sega Rally and the steering wheel brilliant fun, um, Gran Turismo on the PlayStation, you know, as I say Call of Duty, first person shooters, fantastic, I mean any game will play through this, I've had a Mega Drive hooked into this, I've had uh, a DVD player hooked into this watching films, um, again the experience is very good, um, as I say if you hook it into your iPhone um, you can actually uh, you know, play 3D films via YouTube, or if you've got a 3D Blu-ray Blu player, etc. Um, you know, you can get the whole 3D effect, and it got an automatic. Uh, if you press the menu button here, um, and I can scroll through. Obviously, you guys can't see this. I might plug this into a PVR to give you an idea. You can scroll through the settings, and floating across in front of me just here. Um, there's 3D options here, um, side by side, red, green, red, blue. Um, the I can't remember what it's called. The uh, anaglyph. Uh, that you have in the cinema um, along the top here I can see uh, there's there's the settings for oops just turned it off like an idiot there we go so the settings just there so you've got bright the settings here for brightness contrast hue saturation and then one two three four settings for um, putting your own custom settings on there so if you're playing a console you can have one for a certain console one for a film you know one for a TV and get the right settings for, for your own personal you know likes and just in the corner here there's a PC um, setting so when you've hooked it onto a PC um, and you can be you know working away with a wireless mouse or whatever you want to do um, you know you can actually get the right kind of settings for that so yeah all in all very very good very enjoyable experience with using these. As I say, you do have to make sure you um, adjust the nose bridge for your own personal nose. I've got these set for my own personal face, so uh, sorry to the next person who <laughs> reviews these. You're going to have to tweak it because I have quite a large nose, unfortunately for me. Um, but yeah, uh, once you've got them set to your face, um, the you know the fact that they're slightly heavier than obviously going to be heavier than sunglasses it just goes away um, it, you just can't feel them anymore you get used to them very very good so yeah let's cut back to the studio and uh, you know we'll we'll get uh, my arm cam going on and just uh, give you my final thoughts okay so we're back in the studio um, there's, there's a few final thoughts really um, after seeing them stuck to my ugly mug sorry to subject to that but then again it is a necessary evil with this kind of a thing Anyway, if you, you can open your eyes now, <laughs> you don't have to look at me anymore. Um, yeah, final thoughts. Obviously, I'll try and um, wrap this up as quickly as I can. Otherwise, this video is going to be like an hour and a half long. I mean, I could babble on about uh, Vuzix as a company for for many an hour, as I've already, uh, already explained to you. You know, they, they are a company that I've um, been reading up about quite a lot over the, over the last few years. You know, the, the, the products are quite exciting and, and pioneering to me and uh, you know they do always improve of them with, with every single iteration obviously this 920s when you compare them to the um, AV 230s that came out a few years ago um, have come on leaps and bounds the screen resolution is a lot better uh, you know they're a lot more wearable um, as I say especially these ones that you, once you get past the nose bridge as in setting them correctly very very comfortable as well a lot of fun to wear you know very practical in certain situations obviously i'll, I'll list a lot of, lot of suggested um, uses that i think they could be used for um on the website on the written review so do please um, click through to that by clicking the game added symbol at the end of this video but yeah they i just love the fact that they keep um you know improving on them you know every year on year i mean the uh, th there are going to be some augmented reality add-ons to these particular glasses that you can get through the website and you click on the music symbol at the end of this video you can read up a bit more about that 
Uh, obviously, augmented reality is a process where it overlays CG images over the real world that you're looking at in real time. Very exciting applications for that. I'm sure you, you, you guys who are tech geeks will already know about things like that. Um, but I mean, an example, a, a very basic example is the new um, Nintendo 3DS uses little cards to make little uh, f models that you can just place, you know, and take photos of them on the kitchen table, for example. That's a very basic level. But obviously, you think about the medical implications of, you know, from a training perspective, overlaying, you know, uh, the human, you know, the anatomy of the human body over a real person, for example, while, during lectures, things like that. You know, the world's your onion really as, as the software develops. You know, see so the next um, iteration of these are the VA, VR uh, 1200s. Do read up about those. They will offer a um, 75 inch uh, flat panel HD TV resolution of uh, 1280 by 768. So, obviously, anyone who's in the know, anything above 720 is high definition. So, obviously, 768 not more than meets that. Very exciting to, to see how what they do with those. But for now, the the, the uh, Vuzix Wrap 920s I think are uh, will will do me fine really. Um, very uh, very very chuffed I've been able to uh, review these. So thank you to again to Mustard PR and Vuzix for uh, agreeing to work with Gamer Dads on this. Um, and I think I'll wrap it up there really. Um, what I'll do, as I say, is I'll put some more um, detailed. Um, commentary, uh, you know, the, the positives, the, the negatives, you know, ways to get around those, everything else on the written review. Do please check that out on uh, gamerdads.co.uk um, or you can just click the Gamerdads symbol at the end of this video. Likewise with the Vuzix and the Mustard PR sites, I will make them clickable on this YouTube video and you can go to the relevant site and get all the information you need. Until then, um, please do check out uh, the Game of Dads channels as well. Um, my personal channel is youtube.com forward slash move it. On there you'll see tech reviews, toy reviews, uh, you know, gaming gaming reviews and, and videos and things. Basically, everything I make for Game of Dads all in one place. Um, the Game of Dads current gen uh, YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash Game of Dads UK. And the uh, retro channel, the, uh, you know, retro gaming, retro nostalgia you know the the video retrocast podcast vidcast thing. Uh, they're they're all on youtube.com forward slash retrocast uk. And uh, do please check those out. Until then, thank you for watching. Uh, I know this has been a long video, but hopefully that this has been detailed enough to help you decide where to get these things. Highly recommended again. And as I say, I've been Move It. Take care of yourself.